as the group disperses, you learn a bit about demon summoning. That's how that works. You gain one mind and one magic. Okay, last guy for week six. Physique zero. This guy's like, he's a wimp basically. Finesse 10, mind 6, charm 18, magic 5, wealth 7. Maybe he should bartend. Yeah. Spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. He looks happy. You earn 1 wealth and tips and gain 2 charm. Oh, I have 20 charm now. Jeez. 8 wealth. One day a bard pulls out his lute and the bard begins to start playing a tune. Unfortunately, singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decide to do something about it, so I'm going to challenge him to a loot duel. You bar the bar owner's loot and challenge the bar to musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggios. The tavern roars with applause. The bard tries his best to re replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. Gain one finesse and one charm. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how we did. The storm arrives in the night. The storm is the yog. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Are we past saving? Let's find out. Okay. So, here's the thing. So, we have to go through, and you'll notice on the left, we have to basically pick a role for everyone. So, Let's see, Blue Lady has good physique and finesse and decent magic. But I want to be a jerk, so... Maybe I'll make her... Maybe I'll just have her lead things. Take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. Your reputation allows you to lead the survivors with a bit of ease. Unfortunately, you don't have the brain capacity to know what to do in a position of power. Okay, so yeah, only one mind. You end up contradicting your orders and arguing with everyone. This hinders the rebuilding effort. Well, so that screwed up. This guy here. Let's see what he can do. What should green be? Have conjure things, be a conjurer. Take it upon yourself to have conjure up some supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon a large amount of supplies. You have a magic of 10. With some effort, you're summoning more than enough lumber and food for the town. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. Wow, that was actually a good one. I wasn't trying to. This town got ruined. It's all flooded and the walls broke. So, yeah, this is the guy with a physique of 8. Or the lady with the physique of eight, fit, finesse of fifteen, and we'll make her a looter. You break into abandoned buildings and hoard everything to, for yourself. You gain three wealth. You gain another three wealth. This hurts the survival effort. All right. Well, that's great. So this guy is going to be a charming town drunk. Physique of zero, finesse of eleven, mind of six, charm of twenty-one, magic of five, wealth of eight. Let's see how he does as a town drunk. You scavenge together as much alcohol as you can and drink excessively. Well, that would be the town drunk, I guess. You gain two physique and one charm. Wow, now I have a charm of 22. That's pretty high. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is the ending ending. And so, we set about our tasks once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end... Let's see how we did. There are misfits here. In the end, we were defeated. Those of us left struggled to put our home to rights, but the effort was futile. Doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing, 
and perhaps the Yogg was only partly to blame. Yeah, I, th I think we did a lot of bad things ourselves. Let's see. The Yogg did nothing to help your health. In the days that pass, you notice more and more spiral sores resurfacing onto your skin. One day, they begin glowing blue again. This time, they don't stop. With a shriek, you create a portal into another dimension. Well, this is a blue lady. You climb through to find an enormous hedge filled with thorns and brambles. I love this music, by the way. It's a great, great little song at the end. There's not much music in the game, but this song's really good. Anyway, you walk right through it, the thorns tearing apart pieces of your soul. When you get through to the other side, every piece of what you once were is gone. With a quick flick of your wrist, a palace is formed in front of you. Within minutes, you already decide you're bored. You decide you need a plaything. Rip the hole back into the mortal realm, grab a woman by the hair, and pull her kicking and screaming through the thorns. That's not good at all. Let's see about this guy. This guy was the conjurer. Conjurer. Your previous alchemy experience serves you well after the Yogg. Okay, that's, that's good for him. Start an underground potion burning facility. You get people hopelessly addicted to your variety of substances and exchange them for favors and services. So I'm a, a drug dealer, basically. A skooma dealer. You do well for yourself within the broken walls of this former village. The fact that many people are dying from potion overdose phases you little. Okay, here's the thieving lady. She was a looter. You escaped the ruined town with giant bags of coins, jewels, and other valuable trinkets. You moved to a new city, living a life of luxury and elegance. Unfortunately, the new city you moved to has their own horrible evil, the... I'll show how that's spelled. The Biag? The Biag sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time, when you go to rummaging through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. You get into a knife fight with one of them, which results in you bleeding out on a pile of rubble. Well, that could have ended better. Okay, let's check in on our last guy here, the Charming Drunk. With the town in ruins, you decide to flee and go through the woods to seek a new home. This venture is cut short, however, as you are mauled to death by a mysterious beast. Well, it was cut really short, actually. Is that it? He just oh he just dies. He just gets mauled to death. Yeah, so you see this game was made mostly by a couple people. So pretty pretty simple game, pretty short. It's meant to be replayed again a few times, but it's it's really cool. I like it. So that's the Yogg. Y A what is it? Y A W G H? Yeah, Y A W H G. Yeah. And So yeah, that was the Yogg. Like I said, you can see most of the endings of this game really within an hour or so. It's a short game, simple little indie game, but it's fun, it's entertaining, kind of dark, kind of humorous. So yeah, that's the Yogg. I enjoyed it. Um, again, my name's Jerry. I'm from i for games I'm an editor there. You can check out i for gamescom You can go to facebook.com slash i for games or you could follow us on other social media websites. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you like what you saw here tonight. Till next time.